with Dr. Deer to uh, show you how to properly measure a deer and where the common uh, mistakes are made. All right, Dr. Deer, show us the do's and the don'ts. The, the do's, the first, the first thing you want to do is this, uh, the, the main beam measurement. It's the, you're usually going to get the longest measurement from the back side. And you start right here at the burr. And you wrap around. A lot of times you can use a little metal, that a lot of them might use a little metal piece cable that runs across it, but you can get you can get really, really close with a good flexible tape here. And you're gonna get a 22 inch beam on this, see? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but those that, that's real easy to mess up. A lot of people like to have a couple of inches because they take a real hard measure tape and they try to bend it across. But, that is correct. Um, Another, one of the big main main things you see people do that trying to make their deer score 150 that are really 125 <laughs> is they'll take that first mass measurement around that burr right there uh -huh. and they'll, they'll get a good six inches there. Yeah. Right? So what you really have to do on that first mass measurement, never mass measurement, is you get the smallest one in between the burr and the G1. Yeah. And that's, that's instead of six inches, you got four and a quarter. Right, I got you. So you got an inch, and, and that same same thing all the way up here. A lot of people like they they'll get this fattest part right here, and they'll get that fat measurement, and they'll go four right. inches where it really should have been a three and a half inch mass measurement. I got you. And on the beam look, <clears throat> when, when you talk about beam look, this is where I commonly used to make the mistake is I started at the middle of the beam. Where do you start? On the tie link. A lot of people they like say it's because. They say there's a vein that runs through the middle of this, this yeah. main beam here. And yeah, I see the vein. A lot of people, they like to get down there to that vein, where that vein, where that point starts. That's where they yeah. think it starts. And they'll run it straight across, and then, you know, right there, you got a, you got nearly a 10-inch time. Right. But what the real the real starting point is, you draw, you, you draw a line where that G2 starts. Yeah. An imaginary line. And you can take it with, draw it with a pencil or whatever you can draw it with. And then that's where you start your measurement right there. So instead of that nearly 10 inch point, now you only have an eight and three quarters inch point. I got you. I got you. So you don't start. Uh, you, don't, you, you don't start down here. You don't start down there. What's that what? ain't your time. Okay. And you don't start right here. Okay. You don't start right there. You start at this imaginary line. Right, that, that about you, right there. That you can draw a straight line to where that time starts. Oh, I got that, you. That's where that's where that's where a lot the most common mistakes made. So and, know, and instead of a ten inch time, you got eight and three quarters. And some people that can't read and comprehend think as a tip tip measurement as as well as the yeah right there you got a, you got an eight and a half inch tip tip measurement. All you right. can do with that one right there is you can get throw the fuck out of here. It don't mean <laughs> so so the the only you only get one width. Uh, you get oh. one width, and, it, and it, is the, it is the widest point. Okay. So you don't start you don't, you one don't, inch. You, you can start right here and, and work it till you get your widest point that's, that's going to be perpendicular with the skull here. Yeah. So you don't, you don't do the mess or nothing like that. It's, 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 it's like this. This is where you're going to get you, you inside. So how wide is this deer? This deer right here is going to be about 16 and three quarters. Okay. What does this score? It's going to be about 132 inch eight point. Okay. Let me see the time length. You mean, I mean, okay. All right. So that, those uh, G2s, how long are they? The, the G2s are, near, are around nine inches. Okay. And the G, G3s are going to be eights. Okay. Um, these brow tines are around nearly four inches. Okay. And a 22 inch main beam with a 16 and three quarter inch spread. I got you. Sorry, just, that's, just, the proper, just, that's the proper way. Just regular mass measurements there. It's I got like nothing you. Over, nothing overly big on that. What, 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 what did this deer score? I mean, he was a duck as if you do nets. Yeah, this, see, this, this deer right here, he's, you look at him, he, he can really fool you on, on score. He looks, because he's Bat. just jacked up. But if, if, My fingers if, don't touch. If this deer, if deer, this deer matches as a mainframe 10 point, he scored yeah. 163 inches. Oh, gotcha. But he didn't, so he only scored, he scored 148 and 3 eighths. Is what his is what his score. That, that, that's I mean that's not really believable since, you know. It's uh, not, but when you when you put your when you put your measuring tape around this. Around, you on the bird? Uh, you're not on the bird. Not around, not on the bird. You're getting you're a six inch mass measure okay. right here. So mass I measures don't I don't think is that much. So what else gets? Oh my God, look at that. Do that mass measurement then. 
I mean, I want you to see. I want to see you do um, that one. This this bottom one. Yeah. Before the because you well, all the because trash. what you got, you got to count this as a brow, right? This, yeah. This is this is the the G one coming off there, and it comes off and splits. But yeah. so you, you got to you're going to get a you're going to get a mass measurement right here on this one. It's going to be seven and a half inches. Okay. That, is, is that true, or is that just you know people want to do their thing? But what about this thing? It don't look big on my camera, but. These tines are like 12 inches long, aren't they? Yeah, and he's got 13 of them. 13 so, of them. He's a mainframe 10 with 13 inch D2s. Yeah. And and 12 inch D3s. And he's he's sitting at one, 164 and 2.8. 164 and 2.8. Okay, this guy's my favorite, man. This dude right here, man. Y'all can't look at these beams. And look at them tines. How long are the tines? The, this one was 12. He's, he's 12 and 11 and a half on his twos and threes. Oh, no. Average, but his brow times are seven inches. Seven inches each. Yeah, and he's got 26 and a half inch main band. Oh, God. He so, can, it, what's the school? He carries it. He's, his, this deer's right at 150. He's 149 and some change. Okay, okay. Yeah. I didn't think he was very good when you first killed him, and then, yeah, I know. All right. This guy was one of my favorites back in the day, and he was talking junk about him. He's like... I mean, it's deceiving, man. It's really deceiving the way he, I mean, I can't, this camera can't make him look like he is. But he was like 151, right? Yeah, 150, 151 and something. And he's right, right at 152. But also, again, you look at this one, he's got he's got six and, or five and three quarter inch uh, mass measurements on his face. I got you. And that dude right there is just something wrong with it. I mean, yeah, there's something wrong with it. It's got yeah. velvet on it. He is, he is in velvet. Yeah. So he's he, he's gonna get a little bit more mass than one that be out of velvet, but he's he was he's like a hundred and fifty four inch eight point. Okay. And it's hard to see on that, but his main beams are also twenty six inches long. That's people gonna say that's cap. No, I twenty God. He's big, man. He's real big. I mean that ain't that dude right there, how wide was he? People like to see the width. This right here was twenty one and a half inches inside. Yeah. And, but he, what got him, he, he's right at one fifty. As well, but his main beams is what made him so long. His his main beams his main beams went to twenty six and a half here. Twenty six. Yeah, twenty. That's what they talk about me. They call me long beams. Long beams. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he was, he was okay. Twenty six and a half right there. And this G two looks like it's probably eight inches, but when you when you when you put a tape on it, it's got a, it's got a good bend to it. Yeah. Let me see what you got. And it's and see. it is. You got freckled hands. Freckled handed and nearly twelve inches. Oh my. Yeah. Okay. They call that Ron Jeremy. All right. Well, listen, guys, uh, you got a little lesson in how to score from the, the doctor. And, uh, you know, if you need any questions or got any comments, just just put them out there. And this dude right here, we call Mr. Payne because he was old. What, what's, give me some mass measures on that dude. His, his, his antlers weigh like five pounds. Mr. Payne was a big deer, man. And we just. 120. And, 124. Yeah, and that's his cape right there, right? I don't know. No, no, this one. No, no, that one. This the one on the belt. Yeah, that one. This is his cape. Because Mr. Payne was just a cape deer. Let's see how big he is. Yeah, he's got some really good, really good mass. Oh. He's six inches on the bases. Oh. So people in Alabama would think he's 150. He's, no, he's probably, he, you know, he's at least 100, 145 inch eight point. In, in Alabama? In Alabama. What is he in Tennessee? 122. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. Understandable. All right. Over and out, guys. Uh, like I said, comment. Let us know what you think. Peace out.